Puerto Rico, we will be delivering both diesel fuel and gasoline. The lack of power is very difficult uh, for them, so we want to be able to help them out. We certainly have the capability to help those folks. Uh, there's a lot of need. There's no power on the island. They're all running on generator. There's a lot of humanitarian effort that we can lend to. I see uh, great things being done, and it touches my heart to see the people that need it to get it. As a person that was uh, born and raised in Puerto Rico, it, it's an honor. It's an honor to give to my island uh, part of my leadership, uh, part of who I am. And again, with this great team of uh, FEMA, Foster Fuel, uh, we're going to get there. And uh, we're going to see uh, Puerto Rico to come back stronger than before. We're uh, running a fuel mission in support of Puerto Rico under uh, the presidentially declared disaster uh, in response to Hurricane Maria. 165 pieces of support equipment and 140 men, 120 fuel trucks, and we are, uh, have 17 staging sites around Puerto Rico and in all the villages and towns and cities to support the fueling efforts of the uh, people here, and they are in dire need of our services. Uh, hospitals, uh, fire departments, uh, critical communications nodes uh, throughout Puerto Rico. As the power comes back on and as critical infrastructure is put back on the electrical grid, we'll be able to start pulling our resources back uh, to allow the fuel supply chain that existed in Puerto Rico before to restore uh, and get people back to work. And I would say that this, this mission has have been possible, again, with the foster fuel team, uh, getting to the right place at the right time with the fuel that is needed. This is just a small piece of the puzzle and we're just very humbled to be a part of that and hopefully uh, bring some relief to them.